Oh, hey, didn't see you there. It's Columbus Day, meaning most people aren't going to care about Christopher Columbus murdering hundreds of innocents and just be happy that they have the day off. So to celebrate, I thought I'd use this little machine to search for the most obscure classic Sonic game. Why? I mean, if Columbus can believe that he discovered India, I can believe that I discovered the most obscure classic Sonic game. Oh, looks like we're coming up on a reading. Get the history books. Sonic X Vapor, the game that everyone has access to play, but I don't even need to finish that sentence. Nobody's played this before. This is one forgetful game, but the question is, why? Out of all the classic Sonic games out there, this one has one of the oddest reasons to exist, and yet, Sonic lore masters aren't licking their lips in anticipation to talk about it on Twitter. Well, I'm glad I asked, because today, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to find out why nobody remembers this game, and maybe I get my own holiday. Let's take a look at Sonic X Vapor, the forgotten classic Sonic game. Vapor! Let's rewind a bit to May of 2012. England summer of football was beginning and the shoe company Nike saw it as an opportunity. The opportunity to start a mega campaign that had football, cleats, and most of all, making it count. The My Time Is Now campaign. No, not the WWE superstar that would become a huge meme four years later. It was a campaign that used DOOH advertising or digital out of home advertising to reach a younger generation of audiences. The best way I can describe DOOH advertising is like those big screens that are used to order food in newer McDonald's chains, but instead of ordering Big Macs, you're being marketed. It used its interactive touchscreen to allow people to debate on who should be on the England squad before it was announced. But most of you are probably wondering, where does the Sonic come into play? Well, I'm glad you asked. He comes in through the commercials. Okay, I'm getting somewhere with this. Listen. The My Time Is Now commercials had a lot going on. You've got this guy, this guy, and even him, all trying to take the ball and kick it into their goal without having the pesky goalies get really mad and block it. But that's only the tip of the iceberg because these commercials have their own story to tell. These players have to train to the max because everyone they know, this guy with the car, these guys in suits, and... LeBron James are coming to this big game. The crowd is watching, cameramen are recording, and everything is on the line. But wait, something is missing, and it can all be solved with this single frame. We're missing the Mercurial Vapors. Released first in 2002, the Mercurial Vapors were cleats Nike made specifically for being lightweight and are thus promoted by players who are all about speed and comfort. And with their new Vapor 8 line, they needed someone to promote the shoes who were all about speed and comfort. But who? Who could be the perfect marketer for these shoes? Who could make their sales rocket sky high? And most of all, how can it be done with this single frame? Well, this commercial wasn't just any commercial. It was an interactive one. It had many different secrets or tunnels hidden within it. And by clicking this banner while it was on screen, you would be sent to a mini game. What was this mini game? There he is. Sonic X Vapor was a flash mini game that Nike published through the interactive commercial and was a full on miniature classic Sonic experience. Get as far as you can, as fast as you can. Jeez, guys, at least be polite about it. The game features Sonic wearing the iconic Vapors with the red and white finish. Honestly, these look pretty good on them. They're actually the second pair of shoes worn by Sonic that aren't his classic shoes, the first being the soap shoes in Sonic Adventure 2. In this game, Sonic runs automatically, only giving you the ability to jump and double jump with the space bar or mouse when you reach a set of spikes that are too far to simply jump over. Of course, the jump can be used to defeat badniks. Doing so, along with collecting rings, will increase your total points on the leaderboards. But what exactly separates this game from other classic Sonic games. I mean, you have the same badniks from Sonic 1, we're going through Green Hill Zone again, Sonic 4 music is playing in the background, the only difference so far is that Sonic has new shoes. What gameplay difference is there? Well, I've been waiting to answer this question since I first started discussing today. After running for a certain amount of time, Sonic will come across this soccer ball. Touching the ball will have Sonic kick the ball at a high speed with an all new animation. The ball will also have a slight aura around it as it destroys any badniks in its way. Interestingly enough, this game is nearly identical to another Sonic game in terms of gameplay. Sonic the Sketchhog. That game was a mobile game released through the Sonic 20th Anniversary app. It had the same enemies, controls, and physics. The game's music was also from Sonic 4, albeit a music box remix rather than the original theme. Although this game didn't have the soccer ball, so who's the real winner here? All of this is really everything the game has to offer. You continue running until you fall into a pit or get hit with no rings. Your score is counted on the leaderboard, and that's it. 
or is it? This game is a gift that keeps on giving. Along with Nike putting secrets in mini games and commercials, they also had an advertisement on the Xbox 360 dashboard. Make it count is completely correct because learning how to count to the number nine is earned with an Xbox 360 port of the iconic Sonic X Vapor mini game. The game isn't that different from its PC counterpart. The only main difference being the wider camera on display and honestly, I really like this camera. Most classic Sonic games along with the Advanced Trilogy were on smaller displays, basically requiring them to be zoomed in on Sonic, and thus, it was a lot easier to get hit by enemies you couldn't see coming. Here though, since we're on the Xbox 360, the camera is much farther out, allowing you to see what's ahead and plan more efficiently. I'd love to see a camera like this implemented into a future 2D Sonic game. Does it help for this game though? No. Sonic's only move is a jump, the rest is automated, so you really don't need to pay as much attention as you would if you had the rest of Sonic's moveset, on top of having control of where he goes. Along with that, he's set to the far left of the camera, so it was already easy to see what was coming in the PC version. It's still nice to have the camera far out like this, and it's interesting that this game, of all games, had a console port. Unleashed fans? <laughs> you might be next. So, that was Sonic X Vapor. Honestly, the game was pretty boring. It just boiled down to pressing the jump button a few times and watching the blue boy go. But the history behind it was far more interesting. This being the only time besides Adventure 2 that Sonic has worn a different pair of shoes, the multiple platforms, the cameras, the parallels, and the whole marketing with Nike's campaign, which did far better than anyone expected. My Time Is Now became one of Nike's most successful football campaigns of all time, increasing their sales of cleats by 134%. Was this because of Sonic X Vapor? No! They went all out on this campaign with the displays allowing people to stir debates that politicians could only dream of, and dropping these banger commercials with secrets hidden all over the place in LeBron James, and that most definitely shot up the campaign big time. I don't think a Sonic Flash game was going to boost sales of cleats anytime soon. Well, I did it. I discovered the most obscure classic Sonic game, so now this means I can finally get my own holiday. Let's see what the news has to say about my discovery. It's occurred to me that people don't count this as a classic Sonic game. <laughs>